Good evening, everybody. Mm, good, well, say good evening. It's evening for me, but God knows what time it will be when you're watching this. Um, welcome to episode four of Cooking with Josh. Now, as you may be able to tell, I'm not in my kitchen or another kitchen that you've seen before. This is actually a kitchen of Pat and Martin. P&M Cakes, I think that's what your Instagram name is. I'll tag you in a post anyway. Uh, but the Steph's parents and I'm staying here for the week. So we're doing a special guest kitchen. And you never know. I'm in the process of buying a house with Steph. So we may have further Cooking with Josh videos from our own kitchen which will be strange so if you do want to see any more videos because I know a number of you have subscribed to me for some strange reason I'm not sure why you've done that really but whatever um, put a 1 in the comments or press F to pay respects um, what I'm doing today isn't entirely obvious because I've not put any ingredients out. I keep knocking the tripod as I turn. Um, I'm going to do a steak baguette with cheese and onions and peppers and that sort of stuff. So not really the most fanciest of things or the most complex of things. But I really fancy one and I really can't be bothered to make anything else at the moment. Um, so I'm going to leave the intro here, I'm going to get all the ingredients out, maybe do a bit of the prep kind of thing, maybe not, I've not got any sweet potatoes so we're all good there. Um, so give me one second and I will be back. So this is the, the steak, nice bit of focus 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 maybe not I don't know but it's better sirloin from Morrison's what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna prep it a little bit I'm just gonna get rid of this fatty bit as I can be a little bit healthy at times not always but you never know. Uh, my elbow's in the way of that shot, isn't it? There we go. Um, a little bit more off. My arms are just getting in the way of this, aren't they? See, I'm trying it a bit different today. Let me just move that across. There we go. See, usually I'd be filming using the little flexible Joby Pod style tripod I've got. But, no, no. But, what I'm trying today is I'm going to use the big tripod. That, I, that I've got to try and do stuff. So it might not be working because I think my hands are a bit in the way. And unless I do that, that's a bit weird. I don't know, can I move the, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's the bit of fat cut off. What I'm gonna do now is gonna just marinate. Ooh. Try not to get my meaty hands on it, but marinate the cage, that steak in a bit of Cajun style dressing, uh, dressing but seasoning. Uh, so it's always good to have a bit of a, a flavour. I like a yeah. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. Um, then I need to chop the veg and grate up the cheese and get a pan on. So give me a second. Now I have, well now I have, you can see you might not be able to tell, 
There's a bit of seasoning still there, but I've seasoned that. Put some of that Cajun seasoning on, which should hopefully turn out all right. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that to rest. Obviously, room temperature. I don't know. You meant to leave it to rest apparently before cooking it, so I'm going to do that. Um, but before before I chop up my pepper and onion, and I need to get cheese to grate some of that. What I'm going to do is, I just want to shout out a couple of people. Um, first of all, Sophie and Emily at work. You've been looking forward to a fourth video. Um, I believe a certain Mr. Thompson introduced you to this. Um, so, yeah, that's your shout out. There's probably other people at work as well. Ruth, maybe. Um, can't remember if I shout out Will in the last one. Might have done. Did I give Andy and Summer a shout out? I don't know. Obviously, Pat and Martin as well. Thank you for letting me stay at your property and look after the dog, Fred, um, who is currently lying in the lounge, I think. I'm sure he is. He's not come to say hello. He's not made any noise. He's a bit, a bit more relaxed than. Barney, a previous animal companion in this in these videos, I should say. Um, so yeah, if there's anybody else I've missed that I meant to shout out, can you just let me know when I'll shout? I'll make a note or something and shout you out in another video if you want me to do one. That is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start chopping. The veg in a second. As you may have noticed, I have swapped chopping boards. So it's all about food hygiene and safety. So I've already got a bit of pepper. I used the rest of this um, day before yesterday, I think. I've made myself a humongous bowl of rice and chicken that was maybe a bit too big but anyway I'm gonna fetch a knife and cut this up a bit now why am I cutting that way around don't know obviously I'm gonna cut this to strips And then chop it a bit more. Ooh, you may have just been able to hear Fred running in. There's some of the pepper, some of that cut. Um, just trying to think, will that be too? No. Let's do all of it. Sob it. You only live once, unless you're a Ukrainian journalist, in which apparently you, no sorry, Russian journalist, in which apparently you can live twice after the Ukrainian covert op police and secret service desire to kill you off and bring you back to life. Who knew that was possible? Seems like something out of a thriller, a spy movie. Hmm. That will date this video, I as well as obviously the day it gets uploaded, but you know what I mean. Um, right, so that's that now. Let's then got to chop this onion up. I've got rubbish pile over here. So, let's maybe get a different knife now, and um, one with a, I don't know, a serrated blade perhaps, let me try and find certain, not that one, that one's not serrated, that one's a bit too big, oh sod it.
I'm going to use one of these ones again. I'm going to be honest, I don't want the whole onion because my breath will be awful in the morning if I do. So I'm just going to cut it in half. Put one half to one side. Obviously, peel the skin off of this side. Take that layer off as well, actually, thinking about it. There we go. I know this bit of the videos, but you like seeing how dangerous that can be, I think. It adds a bit of an edge to it, me with a sharp implement. Now, I'm trying not to get too emotional, because obviously it's an onion, and yeah, we all know what happens with onions. I've gone for red onion, um, because that was what's in the cupboard. Obviously, if you want to replicate this, you might want to use brown onion or white onion. Maybe in the shallot. I couldn't give a damn. So, what I'm going to do is, with the onion and pepper, once I've got the steak on, well, Get the steak on for a bit, get it all sealed up. Now I'll chuck these on to soften them up a bit with the steak and a bit of flavour. Then I'm going to put it all into a baguette, which is somewhere behind me in the bread bin, I think. Anyway, there we go. So, yes, that's the veg prep. I, you don't really want to see me grating cheese, although that's probably the most risky bit because I'm awful with a grater at times. Yeah, my knuckles really don't like that. So, the cheese, which is a mature cheddar, has now been grated. I've only made some of a mess. That will get tidied up. What I'm going to do in the meantime now is I'm going to stick the pan on, which will be on one of those rings, preferably that one I think. Um, around the mid foil, not sure where that's from. I'm going to stick the pan on one of the, the rings, get that heated up to temperature, then stick the steak on it and cook that. I prefer mine medium rare, whatever you want to do yours. Just have been joined by a guest there in the kitchen. Let's have a look at Fred, the Patterdale Terrier. You've had your dinner. Yes, you have. Yes. Yes, you have. Fred's my company for the week. So, I'll sort the frying pan out and come back to you when the steak's cooking. So, as you might be able to tell, the pan is, frying pan even, is up to, to temperature. So, get that steak on. Um, I'm probably not going to film that this much because I don't know if the scrubbers hear me but there's a bit scratch pan on and I've got to keep it on. This gets quite smoky so I might just leave this bit and come back to you once I've all sorted that out. Yep.
So whilst the steaks are cooking off a bit, just finishing off, what I'm going to do is just chop the baguette up, decent sized baguette. So that's put up. I feel like all with the steak. What I'm going to do is once the steak cooks, which we just need another minute or two more, I'm going to chop it all up, stick it back in the pan with everything, just then put everything in there and give it lashings of Heinz Classic Barbecue, which is rich and smoky. Still probably can't hear this because the extract's fine, so there's no point in you talking really. Steak has now done, so I have cut it up. It's nice and hot still. It's perfectly done to what I'm going to like. So I'm going to fill everything up. So if you just bear with me a moment, I'll just sort this out, and then I'll be back in touch. So everybody, this is the finished article. It's inspired by a Philly cheese steak, but obviously I'm not from West Philadelphia. I was never born and raised there, and I never went to live with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. But it's what I've inspired to create: cheese, topping it all off with the red pepper and red onion, and a bed of steak with the lashings of the barbecue sauce all over. Um, thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. May even be cheeky and set up a Patreon so you can donate money to me. You never know, I'm joking about that. Um, but yes, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. I, I know you usually have a few laughs. Whether that's a good thing or not, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the episode 4. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys and gals and non binary individuals or whatever whoever anybody that wants to identify as anything animals furries whatever see ya